Good morning, our brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest, we truly serve an awesome God. A God whose love is for us, whose plans and purposes are all for us. A God who wants to draw us to himself and be in relationship with us. We are his great love. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement today comes from Psalm 55, verse 22. It says, cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. Um, isn't that one of those verses that that's all we need? We don't need to read uh, all the verses around it or have a big long thing, but just that simple verse, okay? Uh, Psalm 55, 22, if we can memorize that, if we can keep that, because things do come up. We do have cares. We do have worries. We do have things that are, are, are holding us back. The truth is God wants us to enjoy this life. God has created it for us and he wants us to, to work hard and he wants us to play hard and he wants us to have fun and he wants us to enjoy being with him. He created this life for us. And in the context of that creation, he's given us a choice. We can choose him, choose his way. It's not always easy, but we find joy and hope and peace in doing it his way. Or we can choose our own way. Uh, which is the way of the world and the way of the devil, which is, you know, separation from God or at least leads to separation from God. The fact is, when we know Jesus as our Savior, when we belong to God's kingdom, when we're one of God's kids, we simply cast our cares upon him and he takes care of it. We don't have to. We don't have to worry about it. We, we have to listen to the Holy Spirit, of course, and as we're, we're led and, and as we're guided and directed, we want to do those things. But it's no longer our deal. It's God's deal. You know, one amazing thing about God is God never leaves us by ourselves. God is always walking beside us. There may be times when uh, we, we, we don't feel it or we wonder where God's at, but God never, ever leaves us when we're walking with him. He always has a plan. He always takes care of us, and he will take us home. Sometimes we need to rem be reminded that God's already won the war. We may lose a battle here or there. We may fail at a time or two. We may have to, 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 to ask forgiveness and, and seek forgiveness and, and you know, restore relationships as, as we, we stumble and fall. But God will not leave us behind. God says, you are my child and I love you. As long as you choose me, you are part of my kingdom. And when I come back, I will come back to take you home to be with me. That's God's plan. We don't know when it's going to happen. It seems like right now it, it could be sooner than later. At the same time, God may have a plan for many more generations on earth that he might save people and, and love those people to heaven as well. Whatever the case, we need to be ready. We don't know how much time we have, but we want to enjoy that time. So today, cast all your cares upon him. Let him be in control. Let him take the worries. Let's enjoy life. Be encouraged that God loves you today and God wants to use you to love others. So as you go out about your day, as you meet people at the supermarket, as you talk to people at work, as you have contact with family, whatever the case could be, just remember that you don't have to worry about things. You cast your cares upon God and allow his light to shine through you and may they come to know him because of that great light. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for all that you're going to do in our lives. Thank you, O God, for the opportunities we have to serve you. And thank you, O God, for taking our cares upon yourself. Father, we truly do want to lay them at your feet and let you worry about them. In our humanness, it's hard not to pick them back up. In our humanness, it's hard not to, to worry and fret and stress. But Lord, we know that true joy and hope comes when we allow you to take care of things. Father, thank you that you've already won the war. Thank you that the day will come and we'll be with you for all eternity. We give you great praise. Father, please be with those who need your touch today, those facing the COVID-19 uh, virus, this pandemic, Lord, would you heal their bodies and make them well? Those facing cancer and other diseases, Lord, would you provide them healing as well? Uh, those who are simply sick with colds or the flu or other things that I guess seem more normal, Lord, would you touch them and heal them as well? Bless those today, Lord, who are struggling emotionally, spiritually. Bless those addicted to drugs and alcohol and cigarettes and uh, pornography and other addictions out there that need your relief. And bless those today, Lord, who simply need a financial blessing. Father, provide for them and bless them. And Lord, as we think of Thanksgiving, may we all be thankful for all that you do for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. He wants you to cast your cares upon him. Won't you do that today? Have a great day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.